So this video will show you how to add an image into Phaser. And I'm going to be using the snippets at WilliamClarkson.net. And you can also get the template there, which I'm going to be using as starter code. Or you can watch my other video on how to set that up. So here are the two snippets that we're going to be using. Insert image into library and add image to stage. Once you get the template, you just copy it to make a new project and then give it the name of the project. In this case, I'll just call it Add Image. I'm going to take the HP logo image there and make a folder inside of the project folder called Image. Paste the image inside the logo and then grab this path so you can set it up in your editor. I'm using brackets but you can use whatever you like. And, well, there's the folder right there. I'll just go ahead and click it. So I've got the project set up in the editor. And state main is the file I want to edit. And inside there you'll find three functions. The preload, the create, and the update. The preload I like to think of as a library. It's where we set everything up to be able to be loaded later. And the create function is a setup to position things and create things, as the name implies. And the update is a constantly running loop. Now let's preload the image into our library. And that's that first snippet there. And it simply says game load image. And it takes two parameters, a library key and a path to the image. We'll set the library key to logo and the path is images, image. I meant to put images earlier, but I called the folder image, so we'll just go with it. Image hp-logo.png and that's all you have to do to load it into the library. To add it on the stage, we simply take the second snippet, game add sprite. And you could say game add image, but most of the time I use sprite because it, it, there's a lot more in the sprite for gameplay. But more about that later. I'm just going to set it up at the top, 0, 0, and I give it the library key logo. And that's all you have to do to add that to the stage. Let's take a look at it. I've got it set up in a local running server. There. Now let me show you a little bit about positioning. I can simply set the X, Y. Phaser gives us this neat little thing to be able to center anything, saying this logo X equals game world dot center X. And that will put it right in the middle of your stage. And I'll just set the Y down a little bit from the top, just 100 pixels. And let's have a look for that. Now as you see it's not exactly centered. The edge is centered. That's because the registration point or the anchor is up at the top corner and we want it in the center. We want the X and Y, in other words, to apply to the center, not the top left. So we simply say this logo anchor set, and it's a value between 0 and 1, so half would be 0.5. And if we set the anchor to that, then it'll be a centered image. And there, it's in the center of the screen. It's 100 pixels down, the center is. So let me move it down just a little bit more to make it look nicer. Logo.y equals 200. And there, we've set an image inside a phaser. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for watching.